Tonight, ABC News reporter Amy Robach is getting ready to undergo a bilateral mastectomy after an on-air mammogram revealed she had breast cancer. Robach says a doctor told her that mammogram saved her life. Okay. And dealing with breast cancer in the public spotlight is not always easy. Now, sports anchor Kristen Versett joins us now with really some personal insight on this issue. I mean, really an incredible story with Amy. It really shows you how important the mammograms are. I was diagnosed when I was 27 years old, so that was about four years ago. And I thankfully found the lump. Um, otherwise, 27, you're not gonna have a mammogram. But you know, what I love so much about her story was what Robin Roberts told her. If you can go in there and save one life, the pain, everything is all worth it. And I completely echo that sentiment. And that's why I speak out about it as well. I think what's interesting too in your case is you said that when you went to the doctor, initially he just thought it was a cyst. And he's probably thinking, just mm -hmm. like you are, I'm 27, how can I possibly? Exactly, he told me to stop drinking so much coffee, which is kind of hard in this <laughs> business, and come back in six months. And now that I've talked to women later on, that seems to be a very familiar story that I'm hearing. And I didn't really have much history in my family either. And I was always very well aware and educated on um, self-breast exams and all of that. But I didn't know a single person who had ever had breast mm -hmm. cancer. And so when I finally got to speak out about it, now I've been able to help other women my age or younger that are going through it. It's a very scary time. And that's why this is so important. And I suppose Amy probably knew that going in, that if you do the mammogram, mm -hmm. you have to close the circle and tell everyone what the results exactly. were. She obviously went public with her results. You have talked quite a good deal and done a fair amount in our community to help young women like yourself who are going through this. What would you tell people to encourage them, Kristen, if they've gotten this diagnosis and they're wondering how they're going to get to the other side? Well, I know it's, I know it's a very stressful and fearful time. There's so much information we don't know. I, the way I really got through it was finding that support system, whether it's people at work, my family, my friends, doctors. So surrounding yourself with people that love you and really care about you and are there to support you or take you to the doctor if you need to, run to CVS if you need something from the pharmacy. And that's really uh, the 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 biggest thing I can say is surrounding yourself with the right people. Technology and medicine is so great now and doctors are so well educated on this disease that yes, it's not gonna be an easy fight, but if you stay strong and have support, you'll get through it. That's great. And We're so glad it. you're here with us. Thank That's right. You. Living proof yes, that you right. can get through it, Absolutely. Kristen. And go with your gut sometimes too. Yes, even if, if something a doctor doesn't tells seem you right, go for a second opinion. Yeah. If in more opinions the better sometimes. You just want to be absolutely sure. All right, Kristen, thank you. I'm glad you're here. Mm.